Okay, so let's take a look at how we can get the uh, linear regression line in Excel. So I have the uh, steps here, but I'm basically going to work through them um, on an example. So here is the data from the uh, GDP versus emissions. So the GDP here and the emissions um, there in column B. And so what we would do is we would select all the data here. Um, now there's different ways that we could do this. This is one way. There's a lot of different um, options of clicking and selecting, but here's one way. We select the data, we right click, we take quick analysis, we go to charts, more charts, and then I'm going to go to all charts here, uh, XY scatter. I'm going to take the first one here that's the default one, and uh, there I go. There I get uh, the scatter plot right now. Now I want to add um, the trend line, is what they're calling it, or regression line. So I'm actually just going to go to more options here. Um, I want to make sure you can see all these. Um, it is defaulting to linear, which is what I want. But down here, I do want the equation and the R squared value as well. Now they are giving the R squared value because that's used commonly as well. Um, often uh, we just want the uh, R value, we can square root that to get it. And we know it should be positive because there's a slope here, um, the positive slope indicating a positive correlation. Uh, so here we have it. So there is our uh, graph there. I can do other things like change uh, the title if I want. Uh, I can also go in and uh, change the axis titles. Um, so there's a lot of different options that you can do here. I wanted basically to come up with these values for right now. Okay, so as you can see, that's uh, what I've done uh, here is, you know, a little more thorough. Here I changed uh, the title there and uh, just highlighted um, the equation and the R squared value. So that's very useful for getting uh, a linear regression line very simply. All right, so let's do some problems here. Given a set of data and a corresponding regression line, Describe all values of x that provide meaningful predictions for y. So we said that if it's going to really make any sense, we have to be in or near the values, the range of the values from the data. So they're meaningful only for x, y values in or close to the range of the original uh, data. Um, it's not just that we're looking... Um, it's not that we uh, have to restrict ourselves just to the x values in the data. That's what this is not correct. Um, we do want to use it for x values that are not really just um, explicitly in the data, but we do have to stay in or close to the range of the data. All right, so how about this? In order to predict y values using the equation of the regression line, what must be true about the correlation coefficient of the variables? Well, it must be significant. There's really no reason to get a linear regression line if we haven't established that the linear correlation is significant. Um, we wouldn't want to say that it fits um, a linear regression line if it's not a significant correlation. So that's what we would need. All right. So here we see some variables that we've used. Let's try and make sure we understand what they are. The y value of a data point corresponding to xi. Well, that would be a yi. So a data point would look like xi, yi. The y value for a point on the regression line corresponding to xi, that would be the hat version. So yi hat, indicating it came from the regression line, the slope. That's just m. The y-intercept is b. The mean of the y-values, again, the sample mean, has a y-bar. The point on a regression line that, that a regression line always passes through is x-bar, y-bar. 
Okay. On to the next one. So find an equation of the regression, regression line for this given data. Construct a plot, draw the regression line, um, assuming that it has a significant correlation. Use the regression line to predict some values, if meaningful. And so what we have here is uh, the height of some building versus the number of stories. And we're going to try and fit this with a regression line. So again, I could go to Excel right here and I have this data. So I have this data um, from the chart in here. And so again, I'm gonna select it. Quick analysis, charts, more charts, all charts, X, Y, scatter. I'll take the default one that it's on, the first one. And there we go, I just need the trend line along with the equation and I'll take the R squared value as well. And there I go, that's really what I wanted there. I wanted that uh, equation and so that's 0.044 for the slope and the x -intercept, the y-intercept, sorry, is 18.21, uh, we'll say. So zero, oops, sorry. 0 0.044 and 18.21. Okay, so one thing I can see is it was a positive slope. So this is definitely not it, and this is definitely not it. And um, we did have the picture from before, but just if I had these given, I could say, this doesn't make any sense here because that line is not even going, is, is too far away from all of those points. It doesn't really make sense that that would be uh, the regression line. Um, this one here is a much better indicator. Um, I could also tell it from the uh, y-intercept is uh, correct in this one because this is about 20-ish and this is more like 30-ish. So, but it really doesn't make sense for this to be the regression line sitting above all the points. So this one. All right, so let's predict some values. Again, all we have to do is if this is in a good spot, so in or near the range of the data, then we'll just plug that into the regression line. Now it looks like our data goes um, in the X goes from um, about 480 to 762. So as long as we're near that uh, range there, we should be okay. 498 is fine. So Y hat is 0 0.044. Then I'm going to plug in 498 plus 18.21. If I figure that out, I'm getting at approximately 40. All right, 640. That's fine. That's in here. Y hat equals 0 0.044 times 640 plus 1821. If I do that, I'm going to get at approximately 46. Uh, 850. Oh, 850 would be way out here, um, too far away from 762. So I'm going to say that that is not meaningful for this regression line based on this data. 724, that's okay. So y hat equals uh, 0 0.044 times, oops, times 724 plus 18.21, and that's approximately 50. So there we go. Um, we were able to take the given data, create a linear regression line, and make some meaningful predictions for values of x that were uh, in or near the range of the original data. Okay.